The church scatters regularly for Bible study, prayer, and meals. We call this community groups. And it's not our idea. It's Jesus' idea. Look in the scripture. Open your Bible. Acts 2.42. Look what they devoted themselves to. Look what they did. Look what their life looked like. Verses 42 and 46. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. That would be the Bible. The apostles were men that Jesus used to write scripture, to write the New Testament. And all of their teaching, when you look at just what they preached, they preached the Old Testament of the Bible. So this would be us devoting ourselves to the scripture and fellowship. It's that word koinonia. Loving each other, serving one another, living life together. Fellowship's not really used out in our world. We just say, we're gathering for fellowship. And non-Christians go, what the heck does that even mean? I'm, uh, mad hangouts. We're going to hang out. Have a good time. They go, okay, I grab that. So fellowship, we hang out together. We love one another. The breaking of bread and the prayers. This breaking of bread and the prayers likely signifies both the Lord's Supper being taken and also sharing meals together. Verse 46. Day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts. Meeting in homes. That's what we do in community groups. Sundays, we gather as the entire church and then Tuesdays, we're scattered into smaller groups that meet in either apartments or homes to study the Bible together, to share a meal together, to discuss the scripture, and to pray for one another. This is the mark of what a church is and does, so that's why we do it. Not just because we go, this would be a great way to like get more people to come. No, it's what Jesus says a church does, so cool. Jesus is smarter than me. He's God. He tells us to do that. Let's do it. That's a good idea. Sound good? We would love for you guys to get involved in a community group if you're not. We've got three that meet here in Muskogee. We've one, one that meets on the west side, two that meet on the east side, and we've got one that meets down in Shakota. So if you're from Shakota, you follow anywhere around there, if you even live in Rennie'sville. I don't know if anyone really lives there, but if you live there, or Oktaha, I think Tristan's grandma lives in Rennie'sville. But if you live anywhere down there, there's a community group near you. If you live on the west side of town, there's a community group near you. If you live on the east side in Fort Gibson, the closest one is east side Muskogee. Sorry. We'll work on that eventually if you live way out there. We want you to get connected into a community group. 